When first starting the game, you'll see these numbers beside the cars. You'll find these numbers all over the place, like when you're scrolling to buy a car, when you're buying a car, when you're upgrading a car, whenever you finish a race, whenever you're scrolling through your cars in the garage, whenever you're sitting waiting for a race, and in the bottom left side of your screen. Now, what exactly does this number mean? This is what we call score, a very important mechanic in the game. Score allows for a competitive atmosphere and gives a chance for new players. The game allows you to pick a score from 400 to any, each having their own dedicated community and metas. Depending on the score your car has, the restriction will be put into. And your car is always allowed into restrictions that are higher than the score currently is. When we look at the three starter cars, two of them are allowed into the 400 range and one of them is pushed into the 600 range. To give your car a higher score, you'll need to upgrade it. Each upgrade either increasing or decreasing your score. You can tell if it's going to give you more or less score by seeing if it's red or has a minus sign or has a plus sign. But just because it shows more score doesn't mean it's better. To see if it's actually better, you'll have to drive it around and test it out. But why do scores matter? It makes it fair for long-term players and short-term players to play together, as you won't be going up against the best car in the game every single race. But whenever you feel like the game is too slow for you, you can upgrade your car past 1,500 restriction and go into any. Once you've maxed out one car, you're ready to move on to another. With this next car, you can focus on getting it into the 1,500 restriction. Once you've completed this, you can move on to the next restriction and continue down all the way to 400. But that's not all. There's always different types of races which some cars are better at. So you want to buy every car and test it to see if it's actually good in that race. But if this isn't how you want to play the game, you can buy one car and use it for every race. And with this, I hope you're able to learn something new about the game and I'll see you in the next video.